Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for those of you that are new, welcome. I'm Beck and this is Budget with Beck. So in today's video, we're actually going to be talking about my 2021 savings challenges. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I will be completing the Budget Moms 2021 challenges. As you've seen potentially in a previous video that I have done the 2020 savings challenges and it was really successful. So I'm excited to do the 2021 challenges. But in today's video, we're going to be discussing the first few so that you get an idea as to the challenges. Okay, if you haven't heard of the Budget Mom, I suggest you check her out. She's great. With her 2021 saving challenges, you get three different challenges a month. January is a little bit different. You don't necessarily get three challenges, but regardless, you're getting challenged. <laughs> First and foremost, Christmas for 2021. So at the beginning of the year, you want to make sure that you're thinking about Christmas so that you're saving a little bit every month. So here's my Christmas envelope. So far, I have saved $5. And where I'm getting the money from for my Christmas is actually my cash envelopes. Every single week, I'm going to be pulling a minimum of $5 and putting it in here. Where I get the money from depends on where I want to pull it from. So I have a couple of options. So my goal is to put $5 in per week from any envelope or from anything I have sold, art included. So every week, $5. This is actually going to be a little bit extra to the actual goal amount that I want. So I want $500. So by looking at it, I have 11 months to save $500. So if I divide 500 by 11, I get 45. And then because I get paid twice a week, if I divide 45 by two, that's $23 a paycheck. So every single paycheck until Christmas to be able to get $500, I have to save $23. So the budget mom does give you a blurb here. I know the holidays just passed, but there's no better time than now to start thinking about the upcoming 2021 holiday season. Exactly, like get ready. Christmas is always coming. <laughs> I would like to be able to buy more gifts. So having that extra bit of money is really helpful. So that's my goal for the Christmas. So that's one of the savings challenges, ensuring that you're saving for Christmas. So the adult cash challenge, or I guess you could do this one cashless as well, the Jolly Cash envelope. So how it works is you, there's five Fridays in the month of January. You pick a word, so in this case, my word is Z, and the legend here says it's $26. So every single Friday, I will be pulling $26, equaling to $130. But I'm actually challenging myself to save even more than that, and no sleeping on my budget. That being said, What I've done is due to the way that my paychecks are set up, I get paid twice this month. So I've divided each paycheck by two and a half weeks. So if I'm supposed to be saving $26, only completing four weeks, but integrating week five into four weeks, each week equals $40. So from my wallet, I pull $40 every single week. So here I kind of outlined it, how to save it. So I wrote down the dates but really it's week one is $40, week two is $40, which equals $80. So that pay period, I have to save $80. Same with the second pay period. So getting paid on January 15th, I have to save $80 as well. You kind of make this challenge work to what works for your budget. So I prefer to pull the money out as soon as I get paid. So as soon as I get paid on the 15th, I'm pulling the $80 for the two weeks. Because when it comes to your wallet, you want to make sure that you know how much money you have in there to be able to spend instead of guessing and being like, well, should I spend this much? Should I not spend this much? How much do I have left for groceries? And then I know how much for the next two weeks I have for groceries, gas, fun, and all those envelopes. Then there's no guessing game. But by the end of the month, I should be saving $160. And then if I sell anything, I can also put it into here or add it to my Christmas envelope whatever works for me. So yeah, that's how I'm doing my, see I have my $40 in here from my first week. So I started that on January, or sorry, December 30th. 
So this is for the adult cash or cashless. It can work either way because you could just transfer the money from one account into a savings account every week or when you get paid. So the next one is for children and it says let's save some nickels. But for me, I find that I don't spend very much cash, so I'm not getting a lot of nickels. So I decided to modify it for myself and I'm actually gonna save $1 per day. So here it says, by the end of the month, you will save $25 or $24.80. So give or take $25. But I'm actually challenging myself to save a dollar per day. So that's $7 per week. And because we did the first week already, I have $7 in here. And I have some notes for myself. So I'm actually gonna save $31 by the end of the month. So I actually saved more than that. So this is like a nice little challenge. Of course, it's meant for kids, but I wanna do it as well. So I'm gonna save $31 with this challenge too. So this is a showcase as to how I'm gonna go about doing the budget mom's saving challenges. And then there's a nice little coloring chart that the kiddos can color in. I'm not gonna bother coloring that in. And then we have um, the February one in behind here, which I'm not gonna showcase. So with the budget mom savings challenges, I'm actually not going to be tallying up how much I save throughout the year. So what I mean by that is that I'm not gonna be adding January to February, February to March, March to April, and keeping tally of how much I've saved in total. Like last year, I was pleasantly surprised with how much I saved. So I wanna be pleasantly surprised with how much I save this time around as well. So I'll be marking in here every month the amount I've saved and I actually will be comparing it to the previous year because I want to save even more than last year every single month. My goal for sure is to save at least $100 a month. Then I know I'll be saving $1,200 guaranteed, but the more, the better. So I'm going to reference my previous months and try and beat that one. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. And then I'll be pleasantly surprised at the end of the year. So the next saving challenge that I plan on doing is the 26 weeks saving challenge. Some people decide that they wanna pull little pieces of paper. Some people color in certain squares. Some people do it a little bit differently, but I'm going to be doing it with popsicle sticks. I thought that would be kind of fun. So what I'm gonna do is every single payday, so when I get paid, and you will see it on my cash stuffing videos, I'll come, I'll pull a number, and I will therefore save that number for that pay period. Pretty easy, right? So with this challenge, the lowest number, well, the highest number is $103. And the lowest one is $3. I noted the highest and the lowest just for my own knowledge, <laughs> in case I forget, because a year that goes by is a long time. So I'll be pulling a popsicle stick every single pay period and you guys will be brought along with this process and saving the money. And we will be putting the money into this box. I'm excited to use this. I wonder how full this box is gonna get, if I'm gonna have to like switch out any bills or if it'll all fit into here nicely. Guess we'll find out. All right, and the last savings challenge that I'm gonna be doing is a coin challenge. Isn't this box cute? So what I'm doing is something a little bit different with this box. So I enjoy getting coffee when I go out. Who doesn't? It just tastes that much better, right? Am I right? But I wanna challenge myself to make coffee at home. What's gonna happen is every time I make coffee at home, I'm going to put a loonie in here. When I go out to buy coffee, it costs me $2 a coffee. But if I can challenge myself to save some money at the same time of making coffee at home, maybe I will save my money and promote myself to drink coffee at home. <laughs> so what happens is when I go and make a coffee here, I will go into my wallet, grab a loonie and throw it into this cash box. This will be sitting on my wall and it will show my progress of how much coffee I'm actually making at home instead of buying coffee out and about. So my Tim Hortons or my McDonald's. So I thought this one would be kind of fun. And then what I do with the money afterwards, I don't know. I haven't decided. I'm not going to be counting how much I'm gonna be saving in here. When I plan on cashing it out, I'm hoping by the end of the year 
or for the end of the year because I'm not sure how much this can hold. And we're gonna be putting loonies and toonies in here. So I guess we'll see. I might have to switch some of the coins out for some bills in the future, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But this seems like a really fun challenge just to kind of see my progress as I go. So those are the three challenges that I'm gonna be doing for 2021. With all the savings challenges that I'm doing, I'm hoping to save a lot. <laughs> so if I can save, well, if you look at it, the budget mom, if I save $100 a month, at least there's $1,200. With the 52 week, which is a 26 week challenge, there's 1300 there as well. So then you're looking at about 2,500 in total right there. So that's half of that. Then with the coffee challenge, there's, I don't even know how much in that. So I can't even count that to be honest. But, so I kind of have an idea of how much I'm gonna save, but the more the better. At the end of the day, I'm saving money and that's what's important. Please let me know what you guys have decided to do for your 2021 challenges and in the comment box down below, I would love to hear your goals that you've set to be able to save the most money. I wish you guys lots of luck. And if you're new here, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, join the fam jam, and then I can't wait to hear what you're doing for 2021. In the meantime, thank you for joining me and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.